An overlooked feature of Microsoft PowerPoint is the ability to create videos from right within your presentation. So let's say you've made your presentation, you don't need another third party app to record your screen. You can use PowerPoint and you can even go through and edit it. And then when you're done, share it as a video, upload it as a YouTube. So this is great. So if you have a business and you need training videos, or maybe you're an instructor and you've already made all these PowerPoints with a few clicks inside PowerPoint, you can record everything. Let's go through this step by step. Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Teachers Tech. I've created this little PowerPoint here today as a demo. It's about dog grooming. So just a random topic, but let's say I have a business and I have this information that I want to share with my clients or maybe employees about how to do this. I don't want to just share it as a PowerPoint with them. I want to be able to give the instructions so that they can hear me or even see me. And we can do this inside PowerPoint. And then, as I said before, send it as a video. I even have notes on each slide that I like to follow. So let's start with the first step. What do we do to start turning this into a video? I'm using the Microsoft 365 version of PowerPoint. Yours might look slightly different if you're using something else, but this feature has been around for a while. Now, if I go across the top here in my tabs, you'll see that there's a record option. I'm going to select that. Now, once this opens up the ribbon, it shows me all the things I can do inside this presentation. Now, to begin with, all I'm going to be doing is just clicking from beginning. But notice that I can click from current slide to record from their screen recording. And after I'm done showing you how to take a video, I'm going to show you how this screen recording works because you can record your screen inside PowerPoint. And that's a great feature. In this tutorial, I am focused on about how to create this as a training video with placing yourself in there with video or voice. But you don't even have to do that inside PowerPoint. If I had a presentation, like these nine slides right here and I had uh, my animations and timing and everything in it, I can export it as a video right now. So I could click on this and go through the steps. I will be talking about this later when I'm done showing you how to create these training videos with the video of yourself and audio captured. Just to begin with, I'm going to just click on from beginning because I want to point out something about cameos as well. But I'm going to click on from beginning and you're going to see that it opens up in this view. Notice that I'm down here right now. This is the cameo and we can change where this goes as well. If I don't want the camera on, you don't have to have the camera. So across the top and I haven't started recording, I have to hit this red button to record or in this case I can hit R and it will start recording as well. But if I don't want the camera on, I can click it right here or turn it off and you won't see me. But I can quickly turn it back on. The same thing with the microphone. I do want to point out to uh, pick. I have multiple cameras on mine. So what I can do is go to the microphone or camera and select which one I want from the list to make sure you're getting the highest quality. Because one thing when you're recording these type of videos, you want to make sure you have a good mic. Uh, it makes a, a big difference in the quality that you'll get. But these are some quick options up here. Again, I haven't started recording yet. Some other things that you might want to think about is at the very bottom, maybe you have a background where you don't want to be showing things. This down here is a blur background. Now mine won't really make a difference because it's just you see the gray back there, but this is to make it blurry if you'd like it that way. And this is our view of how we want to present. We, I have it in presenter view right now. There is teleprompter and you can adjust how fast you want this to go. I don't have a lot of notes on this, but then if you'll see there's a scroll, scroll speed. So if I hit play right now, as you're presenting, this is built into PowerPoint so you can follow along with your notes. Remember what you're seeing on this screen up here isn't going to be recorded. It's just the presentation with my cameo here. Now I can also change it to a different view. You see there is slide view. This inside here is what's going to be recorded. I'm just going to keep this in present presenter view for this demo here today. If you want to get out of this, you can simply go back to edit or you can hit escape on your keyboard and it brings you right back. That you know what the cameo is, 
I want to show you how you can customize this. If I go up to Cameo, and I'm just going to do the drop down arrow here, and I can insert a Cameo into the slides or all slides. So I can choose where the Cameo is going to be showing up. So I could go slide by slide. So if I click on just this slide, it places the Cameo right here. And notice Designer is going to give me some options of what they think you might want uh, how to place it. So if I click on one of these like this, it quickly changes this. If you're new to PowerPoint and want to learn more about PowerPoint, I'll put my beginner's guide because I do talk about designer in that as well. But check the link for that up above in the card. But so if you like this, you can go ahead and just keep it. If I undo this with control Z, what I can also do with a cameo, I can move this around. I can size this just like this. I can go through and add all these different styles to this. So you can pick what you want or choose one of the designers here for you. So let's say if I go ahead and have this here and this is going to be on this slide, I can go see what I look like in this. So if I just click the camera on here, it gives me a better idea of what I'm going to be looking like when I present here. Notice that the preview is up top. If you don't want to do it one by one, you can go through and uh, go back to your record, Cameo, all slides, and I can go ahead and delete this one because I don't need to have two on it. But now they place the Cameo on each one. I can go through and use Designer in a hurry to move my Cameo around on each of these. So I could go through, find one I like, and just go through and pick this way and do the little preview if you would like. So that's a little bit more about Cameo. But let's go back to Record now. And I'm not going to customize all these. I just want to make sure you knew how to do this. I'm going to go to Record again, and I'm going to go from Beginning. And we're going to do a bit of recording now. One thing I like to do before I start is I just click or you can use the right arrow to go through and see how things are with the cameos. Uh, this one, well, I don't want this kind of a messy background or maybe I change the background or this is where I could use the blur just to make sure I can hide things I don't want to be shown. And as I go through, it shows where the cameo is in each case. I'm not going to worry about where each cameo is for this demo. I'm going to get ready to record. So I'm just going to go back to the first one when I'm ready to record. I have all my right cameras and my uh, correct mic. I can click here or hit R on my keyboard, which might be a little easier than bringing your mouse up here, but that would be your choice. I'm going to click on it, count does the countdown, and right now it's recording. So I can go through and introduce my topic of dog grooming. Maybe I want to use the tools down here for marking things up. If I draw something uh, on here, all this is going to be added to this. If I go to the next slide, I, I'm still presenting. We're talking about pre-grooming preparation, post-grooming preparation, and all this. Um, I'll do a little bit more markup here, and we'll go just one more slide here uh, just for the demo purposes here. I'll change my color and mark this up a bit. Now I can go ahead and hit stop at this point. If I notice, it shows me for each slide what I'm on and in the, the total one as well. So I'll hit stop and you're maybe wondering uh, what do I do with this now? Well, I could actually export what I've done already. I could go to export this way. But what I like to do is go back uh, to edit and you're going to see now if I click on the PowerPoint, I have the video inside that I can watch of the slides that I did. So if I go to this one, hit play. And right now it's recording. So I can and on each of these slides that I was presenting, I have the video that I can go through and play on it. So I went to those three slides. These ones here just have the placeholder of the cameo. I haven't recorded anything yet. But that doesn't mean I can't record anything now because I could go from current slide and I could start recording on this one. So we'll let this count down. I'm not going to say very much, uh, but now this is going ahead and recording this. I'm going to go ahead and stop and edit. So now on this slide, I have this video. Inside these videos, you can do some editing as well. So if I click on this, right here, if we look up in the tabs, we have playback. Notice we have a couple different options here, uh, but we're looking at playback. We can trim the video or fade it in and out. Uh, but if I go trim video, 
If I don't want something, maybe at the very beginning, I wasn't quite ready yet, I can trim the video from each side. I can't splice it and cut things out of the middle, but I can uh, trim from each side. Uh, now, if I hit OK, that's gonna adjust the ends of it, and I can go back to check it where I would like. So that's a great feature to have. As you go through and create your different slides and have your audio and video placed in, it's a good idea to save your PowerPoint, making sure that nothing is lost. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is on any of these, you have the option to clear your recordings or cameos. I can reset a cameo. Uh, so in this case, if I wanted my cameo to go back to, uh, maybe I'll pick a current slide. You can see how it just changes. Control Z will place that back. I can also clear my recordings. So if I wanted to start all over again, I could go and clear on all slides and notice how all the markups and all the recordings are gone. I'm just gonna put it back here for uh, the option of the the exporting it to video because we haven't turned it into a video yet and PowerPoint makes this very easy so if I go and just go over to the export options notice I have this option save as a show so this will create a separate slideshow you could do it this way but in this one I'm talking about creating a video so let's export this as a video I could export it as a video at the very beginning, even without recording myself in it or putting my audio. You could re export it just as a blank PowerPoint. It would have all your timings in it. I just wanna point out when I export this, it's gonna have all nine slides in it, even though I haven't recorded uh, any of the uh, ones on these slides here. So you could go through and delete maybe ones that if they weren't finished yet, but I'll show you what happens when I export it. Before I just go ahead and click on export video, I wanna show you a few options. So the file name just picked up as the name that I called the PowerPoint. You can change this if you would like. It's gonna be an MP4, so this is easily shareable, uploading to YouTube. But I could go browse at this point. If you wanted to save this in a different spot on your computer, you can pick where. You can also save it to the cloud. That makes for easy sharing that way as well. You can also go to custom export here, customize export because you can choose if I drop down on this 1080 here I can choose 4k 720 480 so depending on what size and quality you need uh, do you want to have the recording timings and narrations that are used as part of the PowerPoint you can also don't use them so I'm just going to leave those ones on seconds spent on each slide it's going to go at five seconds in that case so if you get everything set up the way you want just go ahead and hit create video and it's going to ask you uh, where you want this save I can hit export at this point it's going to go through and this one will be pretty quickly, but it will go through and create the video saved in that location. It tells me that the video was exported successfully. I can view uh, and share. So if I click on this one, I'm just gonna say yes. It will open up the video. I can hit play. The animations were part of it. If I just go ahead, as I bring this through, you can see the markup on each of these slides, how it goes through uh, with me talking on each one. And this is in video format. This is no longer a PowerPoint. If I go through and I'm gonna keep going, you can see how these slides at the end uh, were placed in here, uh, even though I didn't present on any of these. So like I said at the beginning, you don't have to put yourself in it. You could just export your slideshow as a video. This is the file on my computer where I have my PowerPoint saved. So this is what we started with, and this is the finished video. So we have two different files. If I wanna share the video, this is the file that I need to send people or place in the cloud, or I could take this file and upload it to YouTube. Remember, there was one last thing that I wanted to show you uh, that I mentioned earlier, and that was about how to record uh, screen record with PowerPoint and we can place it right in one of the slides and can this can be part of your finished video as well so if I go and I put in a blank slide here I could go to screen recording so if I click screen recording and I just have this as a demo I have a Microsoft Excel open I can go ahead and pick an area so I could select an area that I want to record if I just go like this I can hit record or I could hit Windows logo key shift D 
and this will stop it when I go or else hit Windows logo key shift Q. Uh, we have our audio and our pointer. So if I hit record, it will count down. And now this is recording what I'm telling it to capture on my screen. When I'm all done, I could hit the shortcut, control shift and then uh, D or go back up here and hover over and click on there. So now this screen capture is placed right inside that slide. And if I was going to uh, go to record and export this as a video, this screen capture becomes part of this. So this is a video. If I hit play, you hear my uh, voice in it. And I can do what I showed you before with the playback, I could do any trimming on this as well. So this is a great feature if you need to capture anything on your screen. I hope this tutorial on how to create videos with PowerPoint has helped you out and you can start using it right away for your next training video or education video and it'll be easy to share with others. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.